Oh, that is really bizarre, man. I don't remember ever seeing that before. Oh, this is something new. What the hell is that? A fell monstrosity. Okay, good. We need his head for the flame upgrade. Oh, shit. Uh Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to head on out and uh, continue trying to find uh, the blacksmith tools, the leather tanner, and the black cauldron for our crafts people here. A um, couple things off camera. I went out and just um, farmed up a bunch of stuff. So where am I at? I'm right here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I got a whole bunch of, uh, well, a, a fair amount, I should say, of fossilized bone. Uh, I went out and got a whole bunch more uh, twigs uh, of, you know, some of which I've already turned into arrows. I'm going to try the fossilized bone arrows out. Um, they're one damage point less than the bronze arrows, but they have both cutting and piercing, whereas the bronze arrows only have piercing. Uh, so these could typically, uh, or not typically, these could potentially is what I'm trying to say, <laughs> uh, be um, just as good, if not better, for any creature that is resistant to piercing which is not something i've actually noticed a whole lot of so i don't know we'll see uh, i went and got uh, more tin so i've got you know 10 ore in here um turning into 10 bars which i'm then turning into bronze uh so we're doing really good you know in terms of of our resources uh we are in good shape food wise and i have uh, i actually planted uh, a bunch of saplings here just for more uh, twigs. Um, I'm not really sure. Yeah, well, I guess we had two plant fiber and one twig per thing, so that's not too bad, but I mean, I can go out uh, if, um, I'm, I may have even shown this to you guys, I don't remember or not, but if you go up to the Revelwood Spire and you just fly down to the carpentry camp, right here there is a nest, a, a hog's nest, and I, I can I can completely wear out an entire copper pick uh, before exhausting that, and I get about 120 twigs, and it takes me three minutes, two to three minutes uh, to do. So I'm, I'm just not sure that it's worth the time and effort to grow the twigs here when I can, you know, when I can go out and do all that stuff there. Uh, so easily uh, But anyway, I, I went ahead and, and grew some of those anyways, and then I have let's see going on in here. I have uh, Yeah, making more beets because we need beets for the really good stews So I'm gonna actually take those out and plant them really quick Okay, so we got some more beets planted there um, but we have a pretty good supply of food stuff now. Um, so you can see what I actually, I'm actually low on water. Uh, but we can make chicken soup, you know, we can make sugar, we can make veggie soup and, and those kinds of things. Uh, maybe we should make our own well. What does it take to do that? Are you the guy that does that for us? Yeah, we just need to make a wooden bucket. Um, maybe we'll make a couple of wells actually. So we need some charcoal. Uh, I'm currently making wood acid in there, but I have a bunch of charcoal in here. So let's pull that out. All right, I'm going to make two wood buckets. And then let's make... Oh, shoot, that takes 20 linen? Oh, my God. Wow. Um. Okay, I guess we'll make one. one block at a time. Why does it need linen? I guess for the rope, maybe? I got 13 more linen in here. Yeah, I can see where linen's going to be something we're going to just need a metric ass ton of <laughs> in this game uh, for sure. Okay, well, uh, we got the, the well here. So let's put that right there because why the hell not? Can we get water from it already? Oh, yeah, look at that. We don't even have to wait for it to charge first. That's handy. I think... Oh, we can only get three out of there. Okay. I thought we could get more than that. 
What happens if we pick it up and put it back down again? Maybe move it a little closer. No way! Oh, that's hacks. <laughs> that's probably something they're going to patch. Because uh, I can just keep picking this up and putting it back down and picking it up and putting it down and get all kinds of water. So, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I can definitely see them um, patching that at some point in the future. We're not going to need this bucket for now. Oh my gosh, I got so much crap. Uh, I can now also make the the large chest too, but that's going to require quite a bit of grinding for bronze to do. So we're not going to do that right now, of course. And let's put that stuff away. Oh, also just wanted to remind you guys, um, if you do enjoy this video, please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, leave a comment, share out the video, all that kind of stuff. Uh, would greatly appreciate it. I know that, you know, I'm a YouTube consumer as well as a YouTuber. And it's easy to forget, you know, to do that when you're watching your... Uh, oh, for Pete's sake. Uh, you know, when you're watching people on YouTube. So I try to make it a point to like everybody's video unless I indeed don't like it. Um, you know, so if you guys could do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Okay, so um, let's go back to here. I'm gonna just, uh, no, we don't need to put that in there. Let's put it back in here. I wish you could. I wish we could queue up things, because this is going to be done in three, a little over three minutes. We're going to be gone, and then it's just going to sit here. Yeah, it's uh, it'd be nice if we could do that, but I guess um, you, you, I guess you just need multiple workstations to do something like that. All right, I guess we're ready to rock and roll, Ayatollah. Um. Let me look at my inventory here. Yeah, I, I want to keep the guard of the North Army with uh, armor rather with me, but we're going into the shrouds today, and um, you just don't really want to wear that armor in the shroud. I don't have any points, do I? No. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is let's go to um, let's go back to here where I have that fast travel and we'll go down into the tunnel that leads down into the shroud except for we need to kind of go based upon the last time we were in there I think we need to go along the north uh, shore because the south shore yeah, that's reset that's really nice that, that it does that um, the south shore basically came to a dead end and we couldn't get through the red gobbledygook so let's um, salvage that Oh, there's more. There's more tin here. Look at that. I just now noticed that. That's fantastic. All right, cool. Um, The only bad thing about it is I don't think we can set a light down outside of our, our flame altar. Maybe what we do is we move the flame altar down here. Hmm, okay. Well, that's good to know. There's a whole another deposit of tin right there. Looks like there's also some copper in here, too. A little higher up there. Which we could get to if we built the scaffold. So, yeah, cool. Okay. Let's take these guys out. I'm going to use the rest of my copper arrows up and then probably won't be making any more of those. Probably just be doing the bone arrows and the... Uh, oh, that's right. I forgot about you. Cut that out. Damn, that guy's tough. Okay, we need to... Uh... Oh, no, let's get away from him, too. Yeah, we... I... Oh, jeez. Go away, man. That's a couple more than we probably needed. Yeah, see, that, there's that weird thing that I think it, it's like my left movement key, which is the A key, doesn't, sometimes it doesn't work after I just finish up combat or, um, is there a, how do we get up there? Like that, I suppose. Yeah, when I just finish up combat or if I get stunned or something like that. 
Doesn't seem to work. Okay, let's not go down there. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and fly down from here. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have their little buff thing there. We get another spark whilst we're here. Nice. Okay, before we jump off the cliff here, we want to go after... Well, I mean, we need all three of these things. Let's look at the map for a moment. I want to get to here... So we can do the first part of the blacksmith's quest. We need to go into, I'm assuming, what will be Umber Hollow uh, to get the sec next part of the tanning station. But as we learned in the last episode, I can't get past this point here because this is all the red, you know, gobbledygook there. I wonder if we, I wonder if we could come up here. Hmm. See, I, I don't know if I can make that jump though. I, I looked at that before. If there was a way to get up on this cliff, we might be able to make that jump. But you know what? Let's just go down into the shroud anyway so we can uncover the territory and, you know, maybe we'll discover some other things too. So, with that being said, um, we're going to take a shroud flask. We're going to... You know what? I think I'm going to hold off on this because this gives us one less minute unless we really start getting into some gnarly combat. I will take a flask of the fell, though. Um, let's take this. And we'll also take some chicken soup, chamomile tea, and veggie soup. All right, we are buffed to the hilt, man. Let's switch to our bow and head on down. Okay, so let's just follow this path for as long as we can and see where it goes. Okay, so it comes to an intersection. One pathway goes off that way. I'm curious to where this leads. Let's just follow it real quick. Because it might just be another way down into or out of the shroud. Got some nails there. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's a, like a little brazier. Okay. We're going up, so that's a good sign. Bad guy up there. Was he guarding anything in particular? Um, we need to find some more of those walking mushroom guys, too, because we need more of the ammonia for our flame upgrade, and we probably need the ammonia for something else, too. Okay, well, let's stay on the path, because, again, the whole point of being over here is to figure out where the path leads. Okay, so now we come to another T. If we go that way... Ah! Okay, so it looks like there's a tunnel, and that actually gets us close to the cauldron for the first part of it, so let's go this way. I mean, we need all of it. We need the cauldron, we need the tools, and we need the tannery. We need the cauldron to make, like, the antiseptic and the alchemical base, uh, which then we need for, you know, some of the better potions and whatnot. Interesting. All right, this leads us to... A oh, it's an elixir well. Ooh. Oh, shit. Fortunately, we have that um, that skill that we do 30% more damage to flying dudes. Well, I guess let's clear this well because then what will happen is we'll be able to remove the shroud from this area. And it'll give us a place to... Oh, I love those double arrow shots. 
it'll give us a place to you know rest from the shroud of course I guess this will have a um, you know a spawn point thingy up above too which will do the same thing but let's kill all the oh shit uh, all the stuff that's around I'm not going to bother looting those guys. Oh, it's a cave passage. Oh. Okay. All right, we let let's let's do the elixir well first and then we'll then we'll follow the cave passage out. We're just kind of learning our environment here. Thing around over here. That's kind of cool looking up there. There's a orb from that first guy we killed, I'm assuming. Oh. What's this? It's a pine short bow, 25 power. It's actually better uh, in just raw power than this one, but it, it only has one upgrade, so yeah, we'll salvage that. I don't need bug parts. It's just taking up space. Alright, I don't see anything to loot there. Okay, this brings us around, I think, full circle. Alright, let's go on up here. We can refresh our shroud here, um, and I'm gonna—I am gonna now take one of these, which reduces us by one minute. But that's still 13 minutes. That's pretty good. And we are whoops, uh, and we're gonna switch to our bone arrows for going down here, uh, especially for the whatever boss fight we end up having to do. All right, let's do this. I hear a chicken. Chicken in the shroud. Um, I guess we go this way. Little tunnel. Okay, there's something over that way. It's a stuck flyer. We'll kill it though for the XP. And so it doesn't come back and haunt us later. Okay, there's the route over that way. So we have two different routes we can go. go around over here. There's a bug. A guy over here. Alright, we'll get rid of this. Oh shit, not you. Right, I'm just going to use an arrow. Got an orb, two orbs. gobbledygook cleared out. I don't see anything in 
significant inside of there. There's a normal chest. What is the... Oh, the meteor shower thingy. Okay. What's down there? Just the... Just the yucky stuff. Uh, let's replenish our sugar, too. Everything else is in good shape right now. Whoa. Didn't I just kill you? You must be somebody else. Alright. I want to kill these guys with my bow because I've got the ranged buff against them. I'll take the orb. Alright, what was that? What was that noise? That's a spawner right there. There's the root, and I see I see a a dude here. I don't see a a boss guy though. No, hit that. Damn it. Hit this. Oh, it keeps wanting to go after the... <laughs> Alright. Oh! Take a potion right now. I'm trying to get rid of all my small potions and then I'm just going to use big ones moving forward. <sighs> okay. So this one might not have a boss. Maybe it's just guarded by a bunch of minions. Um, there was one. Oh, shit. There was one other elixir well that I've done that I remember was like that too. 34 damage, nope. Okay, I think we're good to proceed here until the next thing pops up. Let's get rid of you. There's a gold chest up on the stairs, but it, there's still more enemies around. Oh shit. That scared me. We got an archer type over here. Where's he at? Oh, he's stuck down there. Okay. Let's let that dissipate. Then we'll go kill this guy. Some bronze arrows out of the deal. Shepherd's Lightning Staff, Legendary 34. Okay, let's get these bugs out of here. I don't want them attacking me while I'm trying to take out the thing. Alright, I think we're safe to... Get rid of this. Excellent. Okay. We have cleared another elixir well. Very good. Just look around here and see if there's anything else. There's a spawner right there. Stay away from him. Okay, let's go up this way. I'm going to pause for a second. 
Okay, so this is 37 power, that's 34. But if we upgraded it, increase mana regeneration, increase maximum mana by one. Uh, nah, I don't think so. If we were a caster, then I would, but we're not. So I think I'm just going to stick with the staff that has the most raw power. Very good. All right, let's go this way. Oh, what did we get for points? Let's take a quick look at that. We got three points. All right, we need a total of four to get Relentless Flame, which I think I'm just going to go ahead and do because it's just too damn useful, you know? You know, once we get that, then then maybe we can just wear our, our northern army and not worry about the reduction... I think that's the bastard with the big shield. So we took him out before he got was able to close with us, which is a good thing. Anything through here? Yes, there is. Back into an enshrouded area. Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> Damn. chest here. Got some bone arrows back and a large enshrouded uh, elixir. Or shroud elixir, I should say. Does this just lead back out? It leads... Oh! Look at this. What do we got here? Little star mace. All right, that we're just gonna. That's 34 damage, yeah. All right, so this probably just leads back around to the entrance, I'm guessing. That's it. That's just a spawner, so it's going to keep doing its thing. Oh, there's more guys over here. Oh, and a, a silver chest. A lot of seems to be a lot of chess in this elixir well. Maybe it's just because we're in a newer region. 34 damage apprentice wand. What are we sporting? 37 damage. Yeah, okay. That's not what's that. Oh, don't do that. He does that automatically and it creeps me out because it's like I lose control of him for a moment, you know? Um, alright. I think we're I think we're done down here. Let's go. We're not missing anything over here, are we? Okay. Up this ladder here. torch out for a second. See, it is dark. Okay, nice. So we have cleared this well. Um, 
just looking over there to see if there's anything. All right, now, what I want to do is I want to go through this cave passage. Well, actually, let's see if we can get over here first. Because it looks like maybe we can. But we'll also go through the cave passage, too. What is this fortification? There's a new block there that we can get to. Replenish sugar. Let's go back to copper arrows for now and head over this way. Hmm. Okay, maybe that is going to be up above. Let's just run over here real quick just to make sure. Yeah, this is as far as we can go. So I'm sure that's going to be up above. All right, let's go through this cave passage. Wait, where the hell's it at? Why are there wolves down here? I don't remember wolves ever being in the shroud. It says the cave passage is here. Uh, do we have to go through the elixir well? What am I missing? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe that cave passage does not lead down here. Either that or you actually get through it, through the, through it in the elixir well. But that seems kind of odd that they would do it that way. Let's, let's go back down here, and we'll move towards the cave passage icon and just see what the deal is. Okay, so if it is indeed down here... Whoops, damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, here. Just run through here. It would be this way. Yeah, I don't see any way to get over to where the passage would be if it was down here. Because this is all blocked right here. Cut it out. Okay. Well, I'm going to say that cave passage is not a passage that comes all the way down to the bottom of the... Uh, of the well. Or, I mean, sorry, of the, of the shroud. Because it just doesn't seem to me like... It's anywhere near there down here. At some point, we'll run into it from up above, and then we can, you know, follow it down, and then it'll become obvious where it's supposed to be. Okay, well, that being the case, 
Um, then I guess what we do is... We go back towards Umber Hollow. Or... Or we could teleport back up here and then walk around. Eh, nah, let's just stay here. Okay, so we have... Of course, our rested buff is, is wearing out. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's go home for that reason alone, and then we'll come back. That way I can also get another batch of this stuff going. Um, okay, we're low on tin, so let's start making bronze bars. What are you doing? I think you're making acid. Yeah, you can just keep doing that. All right, guys. Um, we're back. And... Um, I want to try something. Let's kill these VUCA. There's a little tower up here. Oh shit! With a gadoo, with a dude. Tower with a dude. Let's see what's in this tower. What? Nothing. Not a doggone thing. Okay. What I wanted to do is get up here and see if we might be able to glide down onto this plateau. Uh, I don't think so though, because we're about at the same height of it from here. Is there any way we could get up on top of this rise here? We could if we mined our way up. Okay. That we might be able to make. Uh yeah, if we even if we can just get down onto that pathway there, I think we're we're golden. Let's refresh our buffs. Okay. Here goes nothing. If we don't make this, we're going to die. Because we're going to go right into the red crap. Well, not necessarily. But we're fine. Yeah, we got this. Alright, cool. So this should, I think, get us to the next leg of the blacksmith's tools. Might as well grab the sugar cane. I still think we should be able to harvest that for aloe, aloe vera. Just seems odd that it's not harvestable for that. Looks like some tigers killed some chickens. Hold still, man. There we go. I mean, I guess those are chickens. Oh, 
Don't see anything up on that little rise there. This is um the tiger den. Nothing else inside of there. Okay, we got a a flame altar here, our shrine. Um, I'm not seeing though. Anything about the blacksmith up here? So I guess we're gonna have to go further in. Let's go look over the edge here. There's another what appears to be an elixir well down there. Oh yeah, see the blacksmith stuff is down in the down in the uh shroud. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think if it would be worth my while to set up an altar over here. I think I will. How many can I do? I can. I have two more available to me. Oh, is this going to give me stone? No, not that. Yeah, it is. Why are you attacking like that? I've never seen him do that before. That was weird. Alright. Let's put this down over near the... Right there is good. Do I have enough stuff to make a workbench? I need string and wood logs. Nah, that's okay. We don't really need to do that. I mean... Do we have a source of plant fiber up here? Yeah, we do. Okay. All right, well, you know what? We don't have enough bushes up here for me to get enough plant fiber to make three string. But it doesn't matter. I mean, we, we can just teleport back to our base to repair and then teleport to here. So we don't really need to have a workbench here. Um, so that being the case, I'm going to actually build another one of those and just keep it with us and I think we're gonna get rid of all this stuff here we just don't need it right now oh wow you can eat that straight up I guess yeah I guess that does make sense I just never considered that before okay we're uh uh, let's go back down here. So I think there's like a a ramp. Oh shit! Hit the wrong button. That we can just walk all the way down. There we go. So let's do this. Oh, I'm assuming it goes all the way down. All right, let's um let's look at the map for a second. We need to go this way. to get to the blacksmith thing. Conway Camp. Alright. Oh, shit. Alright, we'll get the orbs there. Here we go. Night watch. I only dozed off for a second or two. I swear, I thought my brother would wake me, but no, the foul breath of an outlaw ripped me from my dreams. I woke Matthew and we dashed out. In our rush, we even dropped the gift and note that the girl wanted us to ship. What now? Ah, whatever. 
So what if some creeps roughed us up? So what if we lost the stupid present? Time to improvise, Matthew said. We'll write our own letter. Nice looking paper. Pristine. He won't know, you see? So now we just have to sign, but there's an issue. I forgot her stupid name. Rachel? Reagan? If only I didn't stop that cursed letter back in Jasper Isles. All right. Got some bone arrows there. That's good. Uh... So, all right, so that advanced the blacksmith's request. Now, oh, it wants us to go to a place called Jasper Isles. Somewhere in Umber Hollow here. Okay. We shall do that. Here's another chest and note. A flame shield legendary 14. What are we wearing right now? We have... Okay, so that's 12 block, that's 14. Yeah, so that's an, a nice improvement. We'll take it. What's this have to say? Fine, I admit it. Shortcut through Umber Hollow is a bad call, but we had no choice. That laggard Hank snoozed, so we'd be late to trade outposts to the trade outpost Blazing Rock. Without some quick thinking, I'd lose my gold coin. We can't have that, see? Of course, Hank slept through his night watch resting in Jasper Isles. Stupid, reckless. We lost the goods upon fleeing. No matter, we'll write our own letter and the gift. Well, Blacksmith won't know what's missing. I'll sign something lovely to get my creative juices flowing. Hank can help. Guy will be none the wiser. Easy, you see? All right. So, um, I guess that means then we need to go north. Why isn't my map moving? There we go. Yeah, so basically we need to go northeast-ish and uh, just keep fo oh shoot I shouldn't be running into that crap and follow the the stuff so this path goes east there's a lot more oh good we need to kill that guy there's a lot more um, forest foresty feel in this shroud than there was in the other one. These guys are aggressive. I don't know. Can we do head... Oh, yeah, I guess if we hit up above, that's considered a headshot. Okay, let's wait for the yuckety yuck to go away. And then I saw another one of these guys right up here. I think we need 20 of these for our our next flame upgrade. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Can we get a sneak shot off on him? Okay. Well, the nice thing about these guys is they have a really big head, so it's easy to get a headshot off on them. All right, we're going a little more east than north. Um, but we are coming up on something here. This probably goes into Umber Hollow here, but let's just... Oh, this is just another flame well. Um... I believe, or not flame well, I'm sorry, um, elixir well. Since we're here, we might as well do it. We'll get, um, we'll get in some more points to spend. And, uh, also clear the area so we have another place to take a, a breather. flyers around. So this is just a, a gateway into the next area. 
Let's, see, let's get rid of this spawner. Oh shit, we got one of those. Shroud core. Nice. Alright, so that just leads out the other side. Let's go all the way around and clear everybody like we did before. I want this. I'll take that mint stuff, though. This goes up onto an area here. Hmm. There's a bad guy up that way. Okay, what's what's up here? Inquiring minds and all that. Oh, there's a a grappling thing. That's what's up here. A Fowler helmet. Backstabbing opportunity, opportunity damage. Hmm. That's probably like a like a rogue. A rogue item. Okay. Backpack is full. Okay. Let's get rid of this. I had so much of that stuff, I had to put it in a separate chest. Um, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm going to get rid of the scrap metal too, because here again, got a lot of it, man. Got a lot of it. What does that do? Oh, that's an experience scroll. Let's just use that right now. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of those, because same reason, lots of it. We're going to get rid of the string, lots of that. And... I think that's all I want to get rid of at the moment. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this, too. Same thing. Got lots of it. And that, unfortunately, we can't... Wait, what? No. What? What, what did that just say? I don't know. Um, I wish we could break those down. I don't know why we can't. Doesn't seem to make much sense to me, but whatever. All right. I think we're done over here. I'm going to leave that potion there. That's our favorite buddy. I was trying to see if I could time it where I could hit him right when he lifts his shield up. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, I got reached level 25. Impressive journey. Uh, an achievement just popped up. Isn't that, is that the maximum level? Don't remember. Here, we need to get up to the thing. Get up to the thing, the checkpoint thingy. Where is it at? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna take this potion. There we go. Oh, it was right up above us. <laughs> 
Okay, let's get our shroud primer reset here. Also going to need to do that. Uh, we're pretty good on all the rest of our buffs, I think. So let's head on down here. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Um, also, we have five points. Um, let's go ahead and do Relentless Flame. And that, that just added another five minutes in the shroud. And I think what I want to do now is... What time soon the back is increased by... Ooh. Oh, no, we already got that. Never mind. Um, I think we need to start focusing on some melee stuff now. Um, and we can give ourselves a strength or a constitution. I haven't really paid attention to what's in this tree. I'll, I'll have to look at that later, but let's just give ourselves more health right now. Okay, cool. Also, I want to... Whoop, okay. There he goes, doing his automatic climbing thing again. Uh, let's switch to bone arrows for down here, too. All right, so let's see here. Which way do we go? Look at that, 11 minutes and 45... Or 11, yeah, and 45 seconds in the shroud. That's awesome. There's the route right over that way. Dare we take the most direct path to it? Get rid of the spawner. And we got a an orb there. Okay, sneak sneak attack. rid of this thing it looks like we've got a person over here that's like frozen oh that was weird that's the first time I've seen that <laughs> okay Let's just take this right now. No, that's not what I wanted to do. There's another one. Oh, that is really bizarre, man. I don't remember ever seeing that before. Oh, this is something new. What the hell is that? A fell monstrosity. Okay, good. We need his head for the flame upgrade. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, we can't... I really want to let him hit us with that stuff. Nice crit. I seem to... There we go. It's kind of hard to hit him. Man, these are like bees. Okay. He's stuck right there. He 
Okay, let's get away from that shit. Get the bees out of here. Out of that stuff. Let's pop a potion real quick just to keep ourselves topped off. It's like a big walking Venus flytrap with people's bodies in the middle. Oh, we killed it! Nice! All right, we killed the fell monstrosity. Look at that. No room in our backpack. Let's get rid of the bug shit. Okay. Um, this is a a great mace, two-hander. Um, let's salvage that. Let's get rid of the mycelium. We don't need this. We don't need that. We don't need shroud wood. Just to free up a, a couple slots here. Okay, cool. A new boss, and down he went. So bizarre. Alright, are we clear to take this thing out? Beautiful. Marvelous, darling. You look marvelous. Okay. How many points do we have? We have three points. All right, now. Um, so we could work towards warrior. We could work towards tank, which probably doesn't make sense. Barbarian is more two-handed. And athlete is probably just going to give us more stamina stuff and strength. Jump attack, bash. Your parry bashes the enemy for 20 blunt damage. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like we should probably work towards warrior because we, we do a fair amount of melee. So what does this do? When attacking with a melee weapon, all damage is increased by 10%. Yeah. I'll take that. What does this do? Merciless attack. Perform a merciless attack by pressing E to deal massive damage to an enemy you've overpowered. Ooh. Let's, let's try that. That sounds interesting. Um... And then we still have one point which we can put into another constitution. Make ourselves even tougher. Okay, yeah, we'll have to give that a try. That sounds interesting. Um, all right, guys, let's see here. We want to want to make sure I keep that with me because somehow or another I managed to lose the head of the fell wisp wyvern and I had to go fight him all over again. Uh, so I have no idea how I managed that, but I did. Um, it's just kind of fun running into those guys. <laughs> uh, okay, so we want to... <clears throat> let's look around for a chest real quick before we head on out of here. So we'll go around this way. And I'm going to switch back to copper arrows until we get them all used up. I'm going to have to spend a whole bunch of time just farming feathers, too. Uh, but, of course, that is an off-camera thing. Yeah, let's um, range these guys. Grab the orbs. Got a one of these plant thingies here. A couple of them. One thing I'm pretty convinced of, no matter what class you decide to play in this game, you gotta get Blink and Double Jump. They're just so useful, both of them, you know? Oh, I guess we could've just come back up that way, but that's all right.
Okay. There's got to be a... Okay, yeah, there's a silver trunk down there. That bug. Oh, damn it. I want to try our thing. He's got to be overpowered. And we killed him before he got into overpowered mode. That's okay. We'll have plenty of opportunities later. Let's get you and see what's in here. A level 20 shepherd staff for 40 power. Okay. All right. I think that's it for here. Um, and also, guys, probably uh, we're going to have to wrap up the episode here as well. Um, we did... We did make a little bit of progress on the blacksmith tools. We took out two elixir wells and killed the fell monstrosity boss, which is awesome. And so I'm going to wrap up the episode here, and we will just continue working on uh, getting these items for our crafts people in the upcoming episodes. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.